Sheep-a-doodle versus Golden Doodle. Whoever crossed a Golden Retriever and a Poodle together for the first time must have been a pretty lucky person, because the Doodle craze has erupted since then, with Labs, Herding Dogs, and even Bernie's Mountain Dogs being crossed since, in hopes of recapturing that magic from the Golden Doodle. Now the old English Sheepdog has emerged on the scene, but how do they size up? Find out right now! A brief overview on Golden Doodles. Before we can break down what makes either of these dogs the better option, we have to first properly define what Golden Doodles even are in the first place, which luckily is a pretty straightforward task. A Golden Doodle is created by crossing a Golden Retriever with a standard Poodle, with the result being the super popular and adorable dog that has captivated the US for years. The Golden Doodle has the mindset of a dog perpetually stuck in the puppy phase, is loyal and very friendly with teddy bear-like traits. They are also incredibly consistent, another reason that even first-time dog owners feel comfortable with the Golden Doodle as their choice. What about the Sheep-a-Doodle? While it may have seemed like we just raved about the Golden Doodle, that is really just the standard for the dog, which is part of the reason why it has remained the king, despite a ton of other doodle options popping up in recent years. The Sheep-a-Doodle is achieved by crossing an Old English Sheepdog with a standard poodle, and the result has shocked many. The dog has kept the classic black and white coat and maintained the majesty without sacrificing the cuteness factor that made the Golden Doodle a hit. Which is bigger? When it comes down to size, an important factor for any would-be dog owner, the standard Golden Doodle weighs in between 45 to 60 pounds, which is pretty big overall. They are also pretty tall, something that they get from the Poodle. A feather in the cap of the Golden Doodle is that you could also get them in smaller sizes, like teacup, micro, mini, and medium, that clock in between 10 and 35 pounds for whatever works specifically for you. The Sheep-a-Doodle is less popular, and as such comes with less options. The dog is also gigantic in weight, averaging somewhere between 60 and 80 pounds. They do come in medium and small sizes, but I would warn you that these are far less common and because of this will be pricier and potentially frustrating to track down. Temperament The Golden Doodle, besides all of its other accolades, has made its name on the back of one word, temperament. The Golden Doodle is a perfect family dog. It's loyal, gets along great with children if they are exposed to them from a young age, and have tons of energy to give. The Sheep-a-Doodle, thankfully, share a lot of these traits, while also throwing in a few that are unique just to them. The Sheep-a-Doodle is an athletic beast, and they love to swim and play fetch. The dog is also incredibly intelligent, and this translates to Sheep-a-Doodles learning tricks and behaviors in no time at all. One thing to be aware of with them is that they are big and somewhat clumsy, so if you aren't okay with things getting knocked over, it is important to train them to be careful early on. Both of these dogs are high energy and love an active lifestyle, with the Golden Doodle edging out the Sheep-a-Doodle in this regard, but with proper exercise and attention paid to them, either could be a perfect fit for almost any home environment. Life Expectancy in terms of life expectancy, the Sheepadoodles fare surprisingly well for such colossal animals and can live 12 to 15 years or even more with a proper diet, loads of exercise, and a good vet to help you out with the other stuff. The Golden Doodle, on the other hand, also has a lifespan at 12 to 15 years plus, but it should be noted that this is not the case for the mini versions, which tend to live forever. I would recommend keeping an eye on them in terms of health issues, as they have some red flags that could appear as hybrid dogs, but preventative care can go a long way in this regard, as Golden Doodles have a longer lifespan than Golden Retrievers. Health While both of these breeds are relatively healthy, it is always better to be aware of any potential health concerns to be aware of. The Golden Doodle, for example, can develop eye diseases, some of which can eventually cause blindness. They are also prone to hip dysplasia and patellar dislocation, like a lot of popular designer dog breeds. On the other end of things, the Sheep-a-Doodle has risks related to their eyesight too, like retinal atrophy and even glaucoma. 
For these issues, however, it is possible to look at the parents for hints at what to expect, and these issues by no means run rampant throughout the breed. The Sheepadoodle, or Golden Doodle, is going to inherit crossbred dog traits called hybrid vigor that make them less prone to genetic diseases. Typically, crossbreed dogs are always healthier than their purebred parents. This is because purebreds breed within the same bloodline over and over, which passes down the same genetic diseases. Appearance Sheepadoodles are huge dogs with black and white markings covering their bodies. This is because Old English Sheepdogs are on par with Great Danes and Newfoundlands in terms of stature. The Golden Doodle has a much more classic look that has swept the nation as well as the world. Golden Doodles are usually a light brown color and have a goofy look to them, in the best way possible. The choice here comes down to the owner, I feel, and if you want an iconically cute dog that is easily recognizable, or a rare and strange breed that will cause a few second glances. Both are incredibly striking though, and there is no wrong choice. Grooming If you are going to get a Sheepadoodle, be prepared to be paying through the nose to maintain the animal, or to be taking a lot of time out of your day to do it yourself. Golden Doodles are slightly smaller, but still require lots of grooming to avoid messy or even worse, matted fur. Grooming will have to be done weekly and not monthly with either of these dogs, and you should expect to brush them at least a few times a week too. Can they be easily trained? Both the Sheepadoodle as well as the Golden Doodle are thought to be some of the smarter dog breeds out there, but the Golden is much more comfortable being goofy and playful than being pensive. The Sheepadoodle gets the nod in terms of training if you require more intricate tasks, as they excel in obedience classes and the like. But the Golden Doodle is no slouch, and they make great guide dogs, service dogs, and therapy dogs in their own right. Both of these dogs thrive when they are being stimulated mentally, and it is important to keep up engagement to avoid negative behaviors around the house. Costs both of these breeds are pretty large dogs, meaning that everything from dog beds to veterinary care will be more costly in the long run. The Sheepadoodle is even bigger, in fact, and will be slightly more expensive overall. Both of these dogs are designer, and although the Golden Doodle is more popular, the Sheepadoodle is quickly making the rounds among the Doodle community. Expect to spend anywhere from $1,500 all the way up to $4,000 plus for a Golden Doodle or a Sheepadoodle, plus around $1,000 annually to maintain them. Both the Sheepadoodle and Golden Doodle are can't-miss options for people looking to add a dog to their family. And honestly, it all comes down to preference which will be the better pick, because both offer different things for different people. We hope we made the pick a little easier. And as always, thanks for stopping by and watching our video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like as it helps us out a ton. Bye now!